I I wrote Paula. That's so funny. It's Paul Cezanne, 1902 to 1904 is when he painted this oil on canvas. In terms of context, Paul Cezanne is a post-impressionist. He is considered the father of modern art, and Monet called him the greatest of us all. He's got some amazing work that you can see here. And what he features a lot in his work is this Mount Saint-Victoire. He lived near it, and so he just painted it from lots of different angles, painted it often. So often, though, you can see in his um, still life, which he's pretty famous for his still lifes as well. This is a dish of apples, but right here we have Mont saint Vitoire here in an uh, a napkin. Um, in terms of form, which is probably one of the most important bits about Mont saint Vitoire, is that Paul Cezanne uses planes, so just like this is a plane, this is a plane, and colors of nature, lines as well. So line, plane, and color of nature, that's what he features in his art. And he uses color to build the form. So um, you can see this, especially over time in these two pieces. So this is... Uh, um, uh, houses in Provence that he painted in 1883 and everything is kind of you can pretty much make it out right but this is his 1900 to 1906 era work this is the bend in the road and you can see where he's using more color and line to give us an idea and you can see here's his road here is a hill up here, the roadside with rocks, and he uses alternating colors to get us to see this um, image. So over time, he uses, he becomes a little more abstract. That's why he is considered the father of modern art. So he saw that cool colors go back and warm colors move forward. And in this piece, he used contrasting colors. You can see that right here um, next to one another to create his shapes. And you can also see that parts of the canvas are bare. So this is a blown up piece from here. And you can just see how he's using just alternating colors side by side to create his piece. And then in terms of form, you can see the image um, when you stand back up close, it's a little harder. Um, he is not trying to have a licked clean piece of art here. Instead, like the Impressionists, he's using globs of art. He's putting them on with hash marks and we can see his work, it's really visible. And you can see the glob of paint here, a glob of paint here. So this is a continuity with the Impressionists. And here it is more up close. So the post-Impressionists use vivid colors, thick paint, and real life subject matter, but they also emphasize geometric form. And you can see these are a lot of um, a lot of squares, very few circles going on here, and they don't mind distorting the form, and they don't mind putting unnatural colors in their works. But all together, it just does work. So Cezanne felt like he was just sharing his own optical experience. He's using his own language to share that experience. He's inventing this, and he feels like the forms of nature can be created sort of piecemeal. Um, like this little house is pretty separate from everything else. In terms of content, he does not use what we have been used to, which is atmospheric perspective. So for example, there is no horizon line in this piece. And, Mount Saint Victoire is just it is uses 
flatness. But if we looked here at the oxbow by coal, we would see right back here, this horizon line where it became less clear, kind of fading. We get this experience of distance. And then the other thing to see in terms of content is Cezanne is employing color segments so that this is mostly um, blues and browns, reds and greens, more blues up here to create his piece. And ultimately, his later work leads us to cubism. So this is cubism. This is from our set. And this is where bits and pieces of an, of an object have been manipulated, moved around. Cezanne in Mont Saint-Victoire has cubist form, but he's continuing to keep a line so that we can still tell what the subject is. At any rate, the function is Paul Cezanne is the father of modern art, leading us into cubism. He is a post-impressionist painter from France. This is Mont Saint-Victoire. It's by Paul Cezanne, 1902 to 1904, and it's an oil on canvas. <laughs>